Okay, so before we begin... Hey there, Samuel. I just want to do a quick reset so we can um, all experience the the classic Capcom logo and jingle because this is like a sound effect of my childhood. So you'll you'll hear it coming up right now, right there. That was at the start of um, some of the first, literally the first video games I've, I ever played growing up, like the age of like three at the oldest because Street Fighter 2, um, Aladdin for Super Nintendo, uh, the, the Mickey Mouse Circus Mystery, all those games were Capcom and um, it had that classic jingle and then this opening is very, got this dark, it almost feels more serious than Ghost and Goblins, which also always had kind of a comedic undertone. Duska says the endings are determined by what you do before you beat one boss in particular. Okay. Well, I don't know, um... How far we're gonna get tonight? I guess we should see the story. Legend says the world was once divided into two different lands. One realm was ruled by the humans with no eyeballs, and the other was ruled by demons with big cleft chins. The game's pretty short if I get the bad ending. The Chaos Emeralds. Oh, the Infinity Stones. They said these six stones fell into the Demon's Realm. Inscribed on the stones were the Crests of Fire. Earth, Air, Water, Time, and Heaven. Damn. They really are the Infinity Stones. Soon the demons began to fight over these magical crests, and the realm erupted into civil war. Whoa, infinity war, now civil war? What are the chances? Finally, the red demon defeated all the others, and collected five crests. How about the, uh, sixth one? Dragon, not satisfied with the crests of fire, earth, air, water, and time. The red demon challenged the demon dragon for the crest of heaven. Let me guess he lost them all because he got greedy. After a long and desperate battle, the red demon, oh, slayed the dragon and gained the final crest. Dang, you actually beat him. But the price of victory was high. The red demon was critically wounded. You only get to play like half the game if you don't get a good ending, is that what you're saying? Blasted me from behind. Don't trust anyone, not even yourself. It feels a little less like exciting if, like, he already had the six to begin with and now he just lost them. I have defeated the red demon. 
I shall reign supreme with an italicized exclamation point. With the power of the crest. Go on. Both the demon world and the human world are mine. Italicized exclamation point. Well, I don't know how to not get the bad ending, guys, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Donga says, hell yeah, great game, Jay. I've never played this game before, despite Super Ghouls and Ghosts being one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Um, so this is a first for me. The game is built around going back to previous levels and finding more secrets. Hmm. <clears throat> Backtracking, huh? I mean, this opening is hella elaborate. Like this, we've been watching this for like what, like five minutes now. Super Nintendo openings are not usually this long. Okay, I think it just went to the title screen again, though. So I think we're. Uh, we now know the story of the game. Demons pressed. All right, let's let us begin. This game's a bit later in the Super Nintendo's lifetime. I think it was like 1994. That is the dragon. Jesus, they just put us right at the dragon, huh? Okay, I can't. I can fly. I can't shoot. Oh god. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I can't shoot up. Oh, there we go. He has to put his head down. I don't know if there's a limit to how much you can fly, so I'm gonna try to be careful. Hey, we got him. That was like a zombified dragon. Okay, so you can't duck, you can't point up, you can only shoot forward, and you can only have one fireball on the on the screen at a time, unless it's like hitting something, then you can... Let's see, is there a limit to our flying? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what is that? If I hit what would be the A button on a Super Nintendo controller, he like shoots fire in the background? Oh, he's still alive. I don't know if you can do much with just your head sticking out there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a great idea. Ah! Okay, so there's my health at the top left. It just increased to five. Oh, okay, he headbutts. That's funny. Okay, that wasn't even a ghost, it was a guy dressed as a ghost. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, you could like hang on to walls apparently. Ah, these things are. Because I want to take them out and see if I can get more stuff. And get more stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but we're getting it all right. It was like everyone 
drops a different pickup. <laughs> like a ear, a little orb with fire. I don't see anything on my screen changing, so... I don't know. GP is how it is, but we're getting gold or something. We're getting like some kind of currency. Also, our freaking start screen has so much stuff that's, that apparently we're gonna get here. You only played up to the bad ending? Yeah, if, um... Well, I guess we'll just see how this goes. We're picking up, like, bolts. Uh-oh. They vanish quickly. Oh, look at this guy. What do you think you're doing? So awkward how you can't even duck. Like, you're more limited in your in your firing range than even Arthur is in Ghost and Goblins. You have the one distance you can fire. From that one position, I mean. Oh, I got a map. Oh, it's a spell. Vellum. Okay. Equipped. Uh, so maybe if I hit, like, X? No. Uh, the L and R doesn't do anything. Do I just hit Y again? No, that's still the fireball. I don't know what that spell does. Maybe it's a passive spell. Uh, Rag says, Can you stay hanging on the side of walls forever like a poser gargoyle who's too cool to be on top of the wall? Well, good question. Let's see. Yeah. Which makes sense because you can also just fly forever. I'm pretty sure. It's the, the attacking feels just so limited. Because you can only have one fireball on the screen at a time, so when you're attacking anything other than what's right in front of you, you uh, it feels really slow. <clears throat> now, I don't know how to use this spell. Maybe select? No, select didn't do anything. I've equipped this spell Vellum, but I, I don't know how to use it. I feel like I'm gonna have to like look up a... I'm gonna have to like look up a guide or something. Or else our spells are going to go to waste. Hmm. Boss? Hang on a second. I, I just want to see real quick. Demon's Crest using spells. Okay, let's see here. How do you use spells in Demon's Crest? You just press the X button while it's equipped, but that wasn't working. Let me... X. It's not doing anything. Vellum. If we knew what Vellum was, that might help. But I don't think we know what Vellum is. Maybe it's like to heal or something, so you can only use it when your health is low. I don't know. So you can like rapid fire if you get close enough. That's what you want to do. Um, that was a Yoshi's Island sound and sound effect, wasn't it? I don't know if you have to select it with uh, up there because L and R doesn't do anything, and 
select button doesn't do anything, and it doesn't look like any of them are highlighted. <laughs> oh, we just wrecked this guy. Is that more health? Yeah, more health. It's Bellum, it's called. No, no, sorry. Was it Bellum? Bellum? Bellum. So it's, it's Bellum with a V. But, um, I read a thing that says just press X to use it, but it's not doing anything, so maybe it ha like, I'm thinking it might be a healing spell, and because I don't, I haven't taken damage, I can't use it. Maybe. Just as this isn't scary. How about that was scary? Look at that, we almost, we almost scraped our knee right there. Also, we can fly. Oh! I see. You can only hit that... Like that. I'm surprised there wasn't something in there to reward me for figuring that out. Because you can't duck and fire in this game. I guess that's an interesting use of the uh, limitation of not being able to duck. Oh no! <sighs> Damn. I could still get this though. Yeah, I might be able to get that up in time. There we go. I wonder if there's anything down here. Probably is, but... You know what? We could fly as long as we want. Why don't we just check, just in case? Aha! So I picked up a bottle. Potion, it's an urn. I feel like this is a game where I need to read the manual. I'm sorry, let me stop again here so we could get a better idea of what we're doing. Demon's Crest. Why don't I just look at look up the manual? Alright, Demon's Crest manual. Okay, um Da, 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 da. Do not subject your game pack to extreme temperatures. Uh. Hmm. Item screen. Press the Y button to select the item, a tone will ring, then press start to have Firebrain use the item. In order to buy a spell or potion, you must first locate an urn or vellum in the realm. These items will hold the spell or potion you have purchased. Ah. Okay, so I have a blank, like, I've picked up the container for a spell or potion, but I don't have a spell or potion yet. That's what's going on. Uh, hey Blaze, it's kind of weird that they would have the spell pop up in the top over there, even though you can't uh, use it yet. But okay, I guess I guess we need to find a spell to go into the paper. Sometimes you gotta read those manuals. I'm not always a fan of when a game like is a little like it doesn't teach you stuff in the game and you have to read the manual. Because sometimes you don't have the manual, but I'll let it slide this time. I knew it. Oh, I thought that was a secret, not a punishment. I was like, oh, that's a secret. Oh, I'm going to get something special, but it was just a spike in the wall. 
I want to fly to the left here. Oh, never mind. It doesn't go that far. I was going to see if there's like a secret to the left. It does tend to be an older game thing because newer games usually have more like elaborate tutorials or like access in game. Well, a lot of newer games don't even come with manuals anymore, sadly. This guy just looks like a, a cooler version of us. I've watched your progress and I'm glad that I shall be the one to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. Oh, actually, I have heard of Arma. What the heck? I will be your executioner. I mean, okay. Whoa. Got some range on that orb, buddy. You can't, um... Just combo him as quickly, it doesn't feel like. He has a little bit of recovery time. He has, or he has a little bit of an in invincibility window. Unlike that last boss we fought. Come down here and fight me, coward! Oh! Not that far down. You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. If anyone knows where the point is in the game where you could get locked into the bad end- Oh look, we got one of the infinity gems. Um... If anyone knows like a point where you could get locked into a bad ending, I can like create a save state and so that way if we accidentally do the bad ending I can just reload from there. We have found the crest of Earth. With it, you can morph into G Gargoyle and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. Oh. G Gargoyle. Whoa. I just put, pick a place and land on it? Oh. There we go. Was it? I thought that was the first time we fought him. Bad ending right after that fight if you're lacking the items. Wait! Right after that fight, that would be the bad ending? Are you serious? Well, I guess we got lucky. Oh, Kiko, you love this game, really. Maybe you could help us out then. I've never played this before. Hey, you, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you a stranger here? Yes. They say that the red demon known as Firebrand has risen. He nearly burnt the demon realm to ashes years ago. If Phalanx had not rescued us... Phalanx, is that a reference to that other Super Nintendo game? We would all be dead thanks to that arrogant fool firebrand. Take care of yourself. Who are you calling a fool, fool? Heard that General Arma is hunting him down. <laughs> oh, you're saying if... Okay, the second fight, if we don't have the right items. Figuring out how to break these. From here? Oh, there we go. I didn't realize we could just fly into the platforms like that. Alright, Blaze, will you have a good one? Dude, this guy's just chilling, hanging out the window. Ooh. Showing off his fancy apartment. Oh no. 
What the heck, it won't let me jump off of this one, so I just missed that item. Oh. Hang on, so I have a crest power now. So I've equipped it. Whoa! We're all buff now, what happened? Oh! Whoa, it's a completely different... Interesting. Oh, I can't fly though. Wait, what the? Um... So we're supposed to have like a great speed or something, but it's not really that fast. Just and, and, and Unless that will like damage enemies, I don't see the benefit to that. Wait, can I break through these? No. Can I break through this guy? Oops. Ah, he just gave us the hint. We can break a fountain in a piece. I was just about to try that too because there's a fountain behind him. Alright, so we gotta look for more fountains to break. Whoops. I think I just left. Oh, there we go. Break this! Break this! What the? It actually fought back? What the hell? Okay. Turn this off for now. Can't believe it fought back. Jesus, that guy's like immune to my fire. I think. If I get another chance to... Yeah, they're totally immune to my fire. That's not cool. Ghosts aren't dropping anything, so we'll just ignore them for now. This is a weird zone, not gonna lie. Ooh, that looks like an entrance. I wonder if I can, um... Knock that to the left or something. Ah, look at that. Well, the <laughs> poor guy didn't even have legs, we just fried him. Um, when you order a Coke at a restaurant, do you normally expect them to give it to you in a glass of ice, not just the can? Usually, once in a while, I've had where they, they give me a cup of ice and a can. So they just, so you pour it yourself, I guess. But usually, yeah, I would expect uh, a glass cup. I feel like we want to be able to fly, because I don't know what's going to be underneath me here. For these enemies, it's good to have this ability, though, for sure. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I see. Oh. Wait. I gotta remember I can fly. Oh, they're invincible to my normal fireballs. What? I guess some fireballs are stronger than others. Oh no. Dang, how am I supposed to get over there? Oh, he drops down. Well, I can't even hit the uh, thing he's... There's gotta... He's gotta be blocking something good, I imagine. So let me think about this here. Do I need to, like, bait him out and then switch to this real quick and then... Okay. I just have to bait him out. That's what it is. 
There we go. And then we can see what's so important in here that he was blocking. A big old coin. Um... This, this Korean barbecue place just handed me a can and walked away. Oh, just a can? Not even like a glass of ice? That, that is unusual. Uh... Taxi G, are you supremely vulnerable to Inception, or were you already thinking of streaming this? I was- this was a potential stream... Last stream I did, when I did, um, Oregon Trail. I didn't end up doing it. This time I just- I wanted to stream something today, but I just couldn't think of anything, so... I went to this since it was on the potential... list. Um, I don't know if I'm going to beat this tonight, because I want to... I do kind of want to, uh... Work. <clears throat> I want to work on my, uh... Script some more. Oh, no! <sighs> well, there's my first death. Let's see what happens. We try. Does it retry me at the same area? Okay, yeah, it does. That's good. His death was kind of... He goes, Argh! He sounds, like... Oddly human. He almost sounded kind of like... The start of, like, when Snake dies in Metal Gear Solid. Argh! He just went, Argh! It's like The first... Death of it. Um, Duskus said if I get the bad ending, then I'm gonna be disappointed because it's very, very short. Like, it's after, like, the second encounter with your rival, if you don't have the right items. The problem is we don't know what... None of us knows actually how to get, not get the bad ending, so it might just happen naturally. I guess there's just some type of item that I don't want to be missing. Nico said, I DM'd you, but I'd be down to do some sort of Halloween stream. Not necessarily on Halloween, but sometime. My internet's hella sick now. We could actually watch Mandos 2, The Return of Jafar. Dude, yeah, that'd be sick. That was fun. Yeah, one one year, me and Kiko just watched Ma Manos Hands of Fate. And we commentated on it like we were Mystery Science Theater, basically. We just ripped off of them. Wait, did I did I lose all my items? No, I didn't. Okay, I still have a bunch of gold. That's good. I didn't want to lose all my precious gold. Wait, can you just do L and R to switch to? Oh, that sucks. L and R to switch between your forms would be pretty sick. Like with the uh, Mega Man. GameCube collection did with Mega Man. They 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 made it so LNR lets you quick sw swap between your powers, which is like such a good quality of life inclusion. Oh, I forgot there was a Mono's Hands of Fate game, and I f I believe I played or reviewed a game by the people who made that, but I forget who. Was it the people who made the AVGN game, maybe? That might be who it is. Alright, we found an exit. But before we go up there, I just want to check down here. Okay. I'm paranoid because of... Since I was told if I don't have the right item. I wonder if I should just save state occasionally, just to try to avoid getting, um... Locked into the bad ending. Oh! Okay. Well, you guys burned. So I want to keep these lit. I did th these walls that I still can't break through, unfortunately. Even though I just got an ability that lets you break through things. But not those things. Some things. 
Th those guys are immune to my fireballs. That's not good for me. Apparently that doesn't count as fire. Looks very fire-esque to me. Oh, ZJ did a donation. It's dangerous to go alone. Take these two bucks. Thank you. You know what? I didn't think I was going to survive this game, but... With... With the two bucks... Now I have two bucks that I could just, like, throw at the enemies. You know, if they try to come at me. So... Yeah, you may have just saved this playthrough. I'm just imagining what if the old man in the cave just gave Link two dollars <laughs> instead of a sword. Ah! Those guys come out- I'm just gonna- Damn it, I was gonna tank him, but... They, they send you flying back, so that doesn't really work very well. Damn it! Stop! They're drinking my blood! Oh no, it's dark over here, so I don't know what's going on. Oh! I just guessed. There was a door. Oh, what the hell? See that blob with the eyeballs? I'm surprised at how key the vibe is for- sorry, low key the vibe is for this, knowing it's a Ghost and Goblins spinoff. Yeah, I was actually saying earlier... This feels darker and like more seriously toned than Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins is like so wacky. You would almost think if you played this first that Ghosts and Goblins was like the goofy spin-off of this. Oh, I see. I need to be this because his power can drop, I think. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just died. Just killed myself. <sighs> I can't get out. Once you get stuck in the slime, you're stuck in there. So okay, you you when you're the the ability that can do the drop down, if you're in the air it doesn't drop down. So I think what I need to do is hopefully it's it, okay, good. I think I need to get up to that ledge and then from there I can I can drop it down, I believe. That's just my humble guess. Oh, never mind, you just can't hurt him. Okay, so you just... You're just fo- Okay, I'm stuck again, he's gonna kill me. As far as I can tell, you can't get out of this. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Once you're stuck in there, you're stuck in there. Okay, well now now we know. You just you you just want to avoid him the whole time. Kika said I like this over Ghosts and Goblins because it, it's more laid back, not nearly as intense. Oh, I guess in terms of like just dying from any tiny little thing, yeah. And the checkpoints here are a lot more generous. I don't know what those fires. I don't think the fire is actually benefiting me right now. It must be for like an ability I don't have yet. Can I fight him now from up here maybe? Is this where we start fighting? Yeah, this must be right here. No! No! Almost fell into the goop. So for those of you who were here earlier or didn't hear me mention it, the game has an like an interesting limitation to where you can't duck and fire. You you can literally only fire one way, obviously unless you have a different power. Um interesting. I'm I Obviously, the game is designed around that. I don't think it's like a, a mistake. Like right here, I can't duck to hit those eyeballs, and you just need to like learn to deal with that. Or if you have another ability, you can like switch to and then potentially hit them from below.
Damn. They're definitely gonna kill me. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's try that again. I wish Mario had done this game's concept where you get to play, like, as a hammer bro. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh... What's weird is, like, I picked up this spell. Supposedly it was a spell, but it doesn't do anything. And I picked up this potion. And, like, I found out, like, oh, these are the containers. Now I need to get a spell to go on this. I need to get a potion to go in this. The potion obviously makes more sense intuitively. The spell, I didn't know what the heck a vellum was. So I was just like, why isn't my spell working? I'm surprised that they haven't, um... Given me a spell or potion yet. I don't know if I just like went the wrong way on the overworld or what. Or if you're just not supposed to have that yet. You can also only fire one fireball on the screen at a time. Which, as you imagine, uh... Unless you're right on top of an enemy, then you can, like, spam them. Like this. But from far away, you have to wait. I think I need to stop staying in the corner there. When they come out, I think that is a fatal flaw. I want to stand up here, then I can actually hit them. Oh, there we go. See, I had to wait for that fireball to go away completely. Damn it! And then this one's stronger. It takes two hits to kill them with the, this, I think, but it takes three hits to kill them with this. Like, side. Nope. Oh no! Okay. I didn't just get stuck in there that time. Oh wow. Yeah, when a fireball has to go like all the way across the screen, that's trouble. Oh god, I'm probably done for here. I'm stuck in the corner. Yeah, I mean, the, this is pretty tough. I mean, I'm thankful for the checkpoints, but you really do wish sometimes that you could just shoot up or something. Or that you could shoot more than one fireball at a time. In a sense, Paper Mario kind of does that concept a little because all of your partners are... would normally be enemies in any other Mario game. It could be an upgrade, but it would be nice to have that upgrade before this fight. Oh, you know what? This still does take three hits to kill, so never mind. Oh, mm, okay. I'm just gonna get out of here while I have a chance. It's so painful when you're right in front of an eyeball, but you're, you have to wait for the fireball to uh, hit the other side of the screen. No! So, lose, missing hits is very punishing in this game, I guess, is something that I've learned from this. Like, you really want to make sure that your, your, your hits hit. There we go. And from right here, if I switch to this, I can do a drop. There we go. Now it's just him. He's going to come out, right? Here he comes. Uh-oh. That was not a good start. Ow. He just sh shot eyeball juice at me. Pretty gross. Damn. I noticed that uh, after like the first couple bosses, you actually can't spam them right up close too much. They have a little bit of a 
invincibility window, which makes sense. It would get way too easy to just kind of cheese bosses, I think, if everyone lets you just... Oh, that looks like we got some kind of ability. You got the piece of the fire crest called Buster. Is the fire crest the only one that we held on to that didn't get stolen? With it, you can break through stone. Ah. Are they going to boot us out of the level? So we have to go back into that level if we want to use the ability that we just unlocked. Um, which I'll show you what I mean by that. Because I'm pretty sure I know what we can do now. Is this. We couldn't go through this originally. But with Buster... Tornado. This door isn't open though, so I don't really... Maybe this door can open later. And we can still fly, so this is an interesting ability because you stay having your normal uh, flight. Because when you have this, you can't fly. You just get this like tackle thing. But here, you get to keep your flight and you have... Oh! Oh, you can shoot two at a time, too! So it's just better. This is just better to have. There shouldn't even be an option between the two. Can it hurt this guy now? Maybe he just takes a lot of hits. I, I wasn't killing those guys before because they were seemingly... ...invincible to my fireball. Okay, so it's the same strength as your your normal fireball, but now you can fire two at a time. So that's a good upgrade. Might be stuff like down in the water, but I don't think we can swim, so I don't want to risk it. Alright, now we'll hit this out of the way. Boom. Wait, what's this to the right? Oh, there's more stuff to the right. I, I went down that way. Whoa, okay. This is a whole different area. Yeah, the damage per second has been greatly increased. And if one of your... Oh yeah, see, we would we would be so weak against these guys if... What the heck? It's like a floating armored zombie with no legs. They just throw from their pile of skulls at you. Oh, these hands! That's a stage hazard too, they are not going away. Now from here, switch to this. I don't know why I, I dropped it down so low. <laughs> that, that wasn't very smart. Oh! That you just died. Whoops. I was damage boosting, guys. That's what it is. I promise. That armor was the only thing holding his guts together. Oh! Yeah, I mean, it was in a game where you can fly infinitely, they've done a lot of interesting things to limit your other attacks and movements and stuff. They wanted a high five. Ugh. <laughs> he pointed, he's like, I want you. Uh oh. Trying to play it safe here. Dude, the way he backs up is so unsettling because you don't usually see an enemy back up in an old video game. You usually just see them like immediately turn around. But this is like the fact that he like can take a step back is just like, yo, you shouldn't be able to do that. What are you doing? Oh, he killed me in one hit. He did two damage in one hit. Holy crap. So we really should have been extra, extra careful. I was just being pretty careful. Holy crap.
Kind of Mega Manny with how the different weapons slot in different roles. Yeah, I was saying earlier though, I really wish that they would use the L and R buttons as quick swapping between those abilities. Which, um, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on GameCube actually introduced that feature to the older Mega Man games where L and R lets you just quick swap through the through them, which is really cool. And I'm sure the buttons are going to be used for something else later. I just think that would have been a good use for it. It's probably going to swap between your spells or something, I don't know. Oh no! Oh, they don't hurt you. They just give you a little, a little grabby grab. Well, I still don't like it. Okay, now we know this guy does two damage per hit, so at least two damage per hit. I can't imagine he would do more than two damage per hit, but we can't rule out the possibility. Yep, two damage per hit. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, if he can hit me when I'm in the air like that... I really wish I had some walls here to, uh... Jump off of for extra height. Okay, so I think you just want to be far away and in the air when he does that, so that way he can't hit you in either way. That's what's going on. Yeah. I was too confident in being able to fly over him. He's... I feel like if we had came up to this guy first... Like, you're meant to come up to this guy and be like, wow, this guy's really hard. And then if you look harder in the level, you'll find that other boss you can fight. It's really just he's so tanky and he does a lot of damage. But our, if we didn't have our up fireball up, that, that fight would have taken a lot longer. And we got a health boost. Yeah, when games uh, show you that you're actually dealing damage to bosses, that's really good. I love how bosses get red. Or sorry, you said uh, looks like he's searching for his contact lens on the ground. Yeah, he was just looking he just needed help and then we attacked him for no reason so i came in here again because that, that kind of was a sidetrack i didn't even mean to uh go that way i meant to go am i going the right way I f i'm pretty sure in here there were some more stone walls that i can uh break now that i have this ability i kind of went like the more secretive route the first time So this game does have a degree of backtracking to it, like purposeful backtracking, where you need to actually come back. Um, which I can be kind of mixed on, it depends. Oops. There we go. This is where I went the first time, and then there should be some walls down here that I wasn't able to break before. I could be wrong, I might be thinking of another area completely like the area before this area, so I'm gonna... No, no, there it is. Okay. Well, there's just a pot back there, so it better be something good. Oh! It's another empty sc scroll. So now we have two empty scrolls and no spells, so now I'm starting to feel like we're, we were supposed to find some spells. <laughs> and I haven't found them yet. Um, I don't know if there was any other walls in here I could break. I just remembered that one. So I might just exit the level. I'm just going to look real quick. This bit of Super Castlevania even got the fishman popping out. Oh yeah, in that previous room. Yeah, I think this is just going to lead to that slime boss. Oh wait. Alright, there's this room first. I, I can't remember if this room has, uh... 
Yeah, this doesn't count as fire either, so I can't use it to light the torches. And ah! There is a wall over here. Look at that. Unbreakable wall. Oh, just straight up more health. Wow. Uh, hey Rad, what's up? It's wild that they just had a whole scroll slot sitting there on the ground like it wasn't a big deal. Well, I had to come back to that area um, after I had gained the ability to break that wall open. That too. That was another... That was another wall that when I first came through this area, I wasn't able to break those. And now, now I can. So I'm like being rewarded for remembering that those were things I could come back for, basically. Assuming you know, you know, you could just not come back. Let's see what this is. I don't know what those fire orbs are. I feel like they're like mana for spells that I don't have yet, or something. Like Mega Man. You don't... You don't usually have to backtrack in Mega Man unless... Except the first Mega Man. It's the very first Mega Man where for some reason they've decided... What, wouldn't it be fun if we made... Oh! That was automatic. He just walked out and said, Oh, the boss is dead already. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with that area. Let's go back to... I think this is the first area we started in. And there, I think there's some more of those breakable walls. I, I'm getting all this money too that I haven't been able to spend, so there must be a store somewhere that we haven't found yet. Here, let me switch to this. I wonder if I can actually tackle these things down. No. Just wanted to make sure. Do you think the charge shot improved Mega Man gameplay or wasn't it necessary? Oh no, I think it, it improved it. Because there's a lot of situations where if you charge up your shot... I mean, I'm usually always charging up my shot, where... Say there's like a part where you're, you're platforming and you know like a few enemies are gonna jump at you all at once when you're trying to platform, then you can just kind of unleash your charge shot and just take care of them all. There's definitely situations where the charge shot helps a lot. The sound effect for the charge shot harmed the game. Christmas Elf said I should play Mega Man X4. I think that's the one that I had when I was younger. I'll, I'll, I'll play all the X games eventually. I just need to work my way there. We've been doing spooky games this month, so... It'll have to be after October. Now there was a secret in the bottom left of this pit here that I already got. It was it was a bottle for a potion. Rats said honestly, I think the charge shot wasn't really needed, but it's so cool and fun to use that they keep it. Yeah. Except uh, Mega Man 9, I think? Reverted. So you can't slide or charge shot in that one. Which is interesting because I think most people like the slide and charge shot. Um but I think the thing is they knew that Mega Man 2 was the most popular Mega Man, and but they took it too literally. They're like, okay, what's Mega Man 2 like? No sliding, no charging. So they, they did it like that.
if I had to choose one, specifically, definitely the slide. Just, be, just the fact that you could get that extra speed boost is just nice. Oh, that's another thing I could destroy. Look at that. I was starting to think that I came back to this level for no reason. Also, I forget sometimes you can fly in this game. Oh, that's a health boost. Look at that. We're getting really healthy. That was always funny to me that that's like... That's what you would say, you know. We're, we're very healthy, we have a lot of health, but it's just, it's just funny. That's the one where the guy goes, what am I fighting for? Uh, I thought that was Devil May Cry. Or is that Mega Man 8? I forget which one it is. Started looking at how to mod my SNES Mini. Got to load it up with all the Mega Man X's. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. You know, it would probably be cheaper to... Uh, whoa, there's like a dragon skeleton here. An enormous skeleton. I was like in... What the heck? This is starting to look like Pitfall or something. Super Nintendo Pitfall. Completely different environment. Oh, right. The Devil May Cry was worse. I was supposed to be the one to fill your dark soul with light. No, no, no. I, I swear to... Is it soul or whole? I swear to God, I think it's whole. I swear. I could be completely misremembering or maybe just from reading people saying it wrong online. But I'm pretty sure fill it... Like whole or, or void or something. Really? Okay. Maybe maybe I've just seen too many memes then. Either way, it was a a really weird line. These are like Yeti caterpillars. Oh, look at that. There's a bottle there. How do I get that? I need to like... Hmm. I don't think that's something I could get right now. Because like, I'm in here. Now what? The way to... Yeah, no, I don't think it could. You must get some like air jump ability or something eventually. Unless the fire can burn it? No, okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's a thing that like Duskus was saying earlier, like this is a game where you, you're meant to revisit levels a lot, I guess. Which, in a lot of games, I don't care for that, but the length of the game factors into it. If it's a shorter game, I, I won't mind it as much. Problem is, I don't know if I'm gonna... I, I, I'm probably gonna have a hard time remembering which level's which, and which level had what thing as we start to play through more levels. That's why I immediately went back and did those breakable walls first chance I got. Hey there, no, Noten Crack? I did, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but... Welcome. Yo, what? What's going on? Fire? Oh. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I see, it's a warning. I'm gonna figure out what was going on there. I was like, it looks like the fire drops sometimes. Jesus, we're lucky we've been picking up a lot of health pickups because we are gonna hurt right now.
I like how they'll put important power boost items in plain sight, but there's a funny jump in front of it. Yeah. Remember there being some sort of zoomed out view of the map that numbers all the levels to make the- Oh, that would help. Finding a rocket launcher on the ground, but it's in a vending machine that only takes Canadian money. That'd be good in like a survival horror game or something. Goop projectile. I'll just have to take your word for that. In the goop? Okay, I think a firewall dropped at the same time. Um, can the goop put out the fire? That'd be useful. Ah, well we could break these. I mean, at least I have this ability. I could have came to this level without this. Let me get this, whatever's in there first. That thing, I still don't know what it does. Oh no, there's, oh, headbutt. Yeah. I used my big brain. What is that? The demon block? Oh, it's a talisman. It's a skull. It's equipped. I have no idea what it does, though. I'll, I'll just Google that, because I don't think we're going to know otherwise. The skull allows Firebrand to capture soul energy more easily. I assume the soul energy is meant for the magic abilities, which I don't have any, so right now this isn't helpful to me, but I don't have any other talismans, so... Might as well keep it attached. Fighting through a 2D burning forest is a hallmark of all the best games. It made me think of Sonic 3, right? That, that's what I thought of right away. Sonic 3 has like one of the coolest opening levels. The end of Splatterhouse sort of has a similar thing. Oh, my health refilled. It must have been from grabbing the talisman. Dude, these fire doves coming together to form together a fire demon. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. That is crazy. We can spam him if we get close enough. Or can we? Actually, I don't know what his, uh... He might have an invincibility window, so... Probably better to just play it safe. Does he turn redder when he dies too, even though he's fire? Oh, he ain't done yet. This is very uh, Splatterhouse-esque of a boss, actually. Oh, he went the same way that I was about to go. Either bad luck on my part or a very good read on his part. Started going left a little too late. That's okay though, because this game usually has good checkpoints. Let's see. Yep. I might have been lucky that I went into that cave. That might have been the checkpoint right there, actually. Um. Yeah, I don't know anything about a. I don't know anything about these games except that you play as the dude from Ghosts and Goblins. That's like literally the only thing I know. Wait a minute, there's no, there's no top to the forest for the birds to catch on fire and to drip off of anymore. Is that a glitch? Did it just not load in that time? Or did they just do that to make it easier? Isn't that weird? Because they're supposed to be hitting the top of the forest and like dripping down fire. I think that glitched. I don't think that was not supposed to load in. <laughs> he knew I was going to beat him this time, so he wanted it an excuse as to why I won. That's probably why. Like when your friend uses the bad controller on purpose. But it's not that bad, you know? It's just a little annoying to use. I was using the bad controller. There we go. The king took pity. I mean, he only got me once from all his other attacks, so I don't feel bad. We clearly were gonna wreck him either way. Tornado? You got the piece of the firecrest called Tornado. 
A speedrun technique I accidentally ran into. With it, you can jump high. Oh, that's... They keep giving us the ability that we we need in order to get, like, an item that's, like, just a few seconds earlier. So now I have to hop right back in so I can pick up that empty potion bottle. And I still don't have any potions. So... Let me equip this. Oh, it makes a platform? I hurt myself? Is that... I'm confused. Did... Did I just jump on that the wrong... At the wrong time or something? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna overthink it. Either way, that's clearly what we're supposed to use. Oh! That is not a weapon. Not on these guys, anyway. It's interesting that we got a wind ability from the fire demon. Okay, so... Should be coming up to it. I also need to figure out how to spend all this money, because I have... A lot of money, and I have yet to run into a store. There it is. Okay, so so this is the ability we needed. So now, whoop. Uh, hang on. Wait. Hmm. Oh, I know. Oh, there was another cave down here. Well, I guess we'll go in here first. Dang it, this might actually lead to another section, though I should have grabbed the bottle first, just in case. So, yeah, this will probably keep going in another direction. Whoops. Since the last cave didn't do that, I wasn't uh, thinking about that. What am I doing? I can fly. Forgetting. Yeah, I get the feeling that we can't swim. Or else that platform wouldn't have been there. Ouch. Jay, this is secretly a, a metroidvania. Well... Uh... Could be. Ah, we can't... We can't fly in the water. That's... That's... The detriment. Another scroll! We have three spell scrolls and no spells. I, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, guys. Oh, he shoots like... maggots or something? Oh! Am I dying because of... Okay. Firebrand has the, the, the shortest lung capacity world record after only a couple seconds, he starts drowning. Because you'd think either you're weak against water and you start hurting in water immediately, or you're not. Like, it's rare that it's like, oh, I can handle water for, you know, one, two seconds. Just any more than that, I, I just can't deal with it. I feel like if you breathe fire, you need to have an amount of lung capacity. I don't know why, it just feels like it. Damn it. I'm about to just, uh, brute force this, because I don't... There we go. Yes! I just reached it in time. Do 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 do. What was in there again? Oh, the scroll. I already got it. No! No! 
Oh wait, you can swim. You just can't breathe. Well, I mean, your lung capacity is just garbage, rather. Hmm. It really is the fact that he can't hold his breath that long, because when your rest of your body's in the water, you're fine. It's just your uh, head can't be underwater. Maybe he just get his he has sensitive ears and he gets bad ear infections from going in the water. Maybe that's what it is. It's been known to happen. Oh god, why did I risk that? That wasn't worth it. I thought it was going to be maybe something good. There's just more money that we don't need. Oh, I didn't realize that was a tangible object in the background there. Oh, you know what? We could, um, use this ability to check what's in. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let me just... <laughs> you can't fly when you're using that one, just to, uh, clarify. Alright, let's just leave those other ones be. I'm sure one of them... Or more than one of them has some nice stuff in there. But you know what? There's probably a form where you're, you can go underwater. So I shouldn't even be bothering. Wow. Either he's throwing his own head. Or that that's like a symbiotic relationship. They they have separate damages. It looks like. I was thinking I could run under him. That's fine. That's fine. Whoops. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, we made a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't be mashing the button. Maybe I should just hold it? Let me see. No, you want to mash it. Because if you're close enough to the surface, you'll shoot up out of it. Okay, this really sent us on a whole... These levels have these, like, big branching paths. Alright, now... I have more health to deal with you guys. A lot more health. Okay, so that's when you want to jump over and when he throws his head. That was a big enough jump. Oh, that wasn't. Yeah, there we go. It was a short jump and then a big jump? Yeah, okay. So we're figuring it out, slowly but surely. Uh-oh, your buddy's gone. Ow. Sometimes bosses get more difficult when, when there's two of them and you take out one of them. They get stronger to avenge their friend. I got to see the thumbnail art when I... Reloaded my stream on PC. I do not like the freaky, muscly firebrand. I didn't even get to make like a proper thumbnail because I don't have my paint program. I use paint.net usually. And like, I was having trouble finding a good thumbnail. So what I do sometimes is I'll find the cover art, like just the, 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 uh, the source of the actual cover art. And then I'll find like the title of the game like, invis like with an invisible background, hope usually, and then um, I'll slap it on top of it. But I was having to use Microsoft Paint, and it wasn't like recognizing the invisible background to the top. It was just like a mess, and then it was getting late, and I was like, screw it, I'll just throw the, the image. Oh wait, I needed to go back. Can I leave? Can I use leave the level? Damn it. I, need, I forgot to go back and get that potion. Oh well. That empty potion. Which I don't even have a potion for still. I feel like there's a store on the overworld that I have not found. That I'm supposed to have found by now. Because look at this. I have three empty spell things. I have a potion. Empty potion. There's another empty potion I was about to get when I got distracted. I feel like I should have... Like... A potion and a spell at this point. The 
The music in this area is so... So, like... Discordant. Oh no, these are even more powerful blocks. Oh no, they're not. I'm just using the wrong ability. <laughs> these blocks are so powerful. Pop special ability can't destroy them. Why did you stop flying? Why do you make me look like a fool? There's nothing in here. Or is there? Another empty potion bottle. Oh boy. I know, we're gonna be so rich. We're gonna be rich. I wonder if breaking all these does anything for me. Go for it! Oh, and I paid dearly. And I only have one hit left. You do not get healed after boss fights all the, every time. Only when you get a health power up, I think. But I feel like when I picked up that talisman, I actually got a health boost. boost uh, or a health re regenerate. Either way, we made it to the next area, so that should be a new checkpoint. Yo, it's a flying section? Hell yeah, but how do I get higher? Using these. Oh, he got me. It's fine, we hit a checkpoint, that's all that matters. Violently licking you. Yeah, that's one of the worst ways to get damage in a video game, I think. Just getting aggressively licked. What if you die if you, like, touch the bottom of the screen? Let's not find out. There's a tornado down there. Is that a good tornado? Okay, so this is a moment right here where I, I decide if this is a if this is a Sakurai style game or not. Because one of the ways that I describe Kirby is that there's all these like pits that you would never in a million years go into unless you did it on purpose. So I had this problem with Kirby that when I see this like pit that's just there for no reason, like oh there must be a secret in there, and I go in there and I just die. Similarly, there is a tornado down here that you would never go into ever for any reason unless you did it on purpose. So we're gonna we're gonna find out right now. They are superior. Unless touching the bottom of the screen just did this anytime. This was actually they, they did the right thing here. So this was like one of the first bosses we fought was this style of a boss. He's gonna shoot his toenails at us. Oh nope, he, he fights differently. There he goes. Oh no, his toenails, it's his, uh, it's his feathers. I was thinking of Kraid. When you fight Kraid and he like shoots his claws at you, which is really disgusting. He's ripping his claws off. Now this might have just been a punishment for touching the bottom of the screen and the tornado might have not actually led us here specifically. Um, why do we have the fire emblem on the pause screen? Uh, what do you mean? We have the fire crest, I believe, by default. I think that's the only one that we hung on to. Because we keep finding th these things that says it's a part of the fire crest. What the heck? Okay, health. That's it. Okay, maybe this was just a punishment for falling. No, 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 wait, this is another area. But once again, I don't know, it could just be that we got punished and the tornado had nothing to do. I'm going to assume the best and I'm going to assume that the tornado did lead us to a secret area. And that they didn't just pull a Sakurai on us. I'm giving Capcom the benefit of the doubt here. Ooh, I could go in there. I don't know if that's going to keep leading somewhere. 
Why don't we go this way first? Oops. Since this is the route that we wouldn't be able to go to if we didn't use that ability. Whoop. Therefore... But this keeps going up higher though, so it's making me think that you can come back out of those. See, I'm all paranoid about going inside of the caves. Alright, let's go inside of this cave first. Let's see. Okay, we can go back in. That's a good sign. Whoa! You can actually fly upwards here. Like, you know, like how he usually does in uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Oh. This is just a really mazy level, that's what's going on here. I don't know where that other one died. Solidarity. Oh! That wasn't a platform, what am I... Who am I trying to fool? Oh, a scroll! Now we're gonna have... <laughs> We have four out of five of the scrolls, apparently, and no spells. Is there anything to the right down, yeah, like, in the... Are we just going... Are we just losing our progress here? Oof. Nothing. having a bad day. He did lose all of those infinity stones, that's true. Did he really need all the infinity stones? Oh, that, that was his his problem, is he got greedy. He had five of the six. And he said, nope, that's not enough. Boss fight on the bridge. Mortal Kombat stuff. Oh. Hang on, before I walk off to the right, there's a potential to... Oh, Duskus said, when you get to the second fight with this guy, if you don't have the right items, you get the bad ending. So we might just have the bad ending now because I've gotten no spells and no potions. So there's a good chance that this might be it, apparently. There shall be no mercy for you this time. We'll see what happens. I don't have a ton of health right now. Whoops, I didn't do that. He does two damage now too, so... We're not looking good. Jeez, that was really close. No! Damn it. If only there was a wall to jump off of. Is he a different color now? Um, he might be. He might have been like more gray last time. Look, you only only beat me because my health was so low, buddy. Let's not get cocky here. Hey, look, they didn't make us re go over the boss dialogue after the first time. So, in other games, could learn from that. Like cave story. It's like at least give you the option to skip it, you know, but you're probably not even gonna wanna go over it again after the first time. You're just focused on you wanna beat the boss. You already know what the boss said. You know, I don't need to analyze their speech like it's a like it's an essay.
What is Storm Eagle from? I feel like, to me, he looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card that I can't think of the name of right now. Oh, Storm Eagle's probably a Mega Man character, a boss, huh? That sounds like a Mega Man boss. Like Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle. Well, McDufflin. McWhalen? Duff McWhalen? Duff Mc whatever it is. Some mix something well. Also, he's not even going that low this time, so... It's just working out better for me. Uh... Okay. <laughs> You're just the worst version of Tengu Man. That tornado did nothing, and then you missed me. Ah! Does anyone else think that Firebrand's, like, grunts of pain sounds, like, oddly human-like? He sounds like, like, snake, kind of. Urgh. Like, that's not what a demon should sound like. It should sound like more, like, beastly. Dave Sawyer is programmed by a prisoner in Guantanamo Bay. I don't know about all that. Can it be my whirlwind move has been defeated? What are you? What are you? Goodbye for now, Firebrand. Now give me something good. Oh, it's another... Why does he have all the stones? He's losing them to me. You have found the Crest of Air. Now you can breathe underwater. With it, you can morph into a gorg gargoyle. I know it's the A stands for some, but it's funny to imagine it as... Now you can morph into a gargoyle and soar higher into the air. Oh. So we've just made our tornado ability obsolete. Okay, so... First off, I need to remember to go back to get the, uh, that empty potion, which I believe was where the dragon skeleton was. Right here, I think. Yeah, this is the right place. Oh, hang on, let's see our new ability. Oh my god, look at us, we're like a bird person now. What do they mean by soar to new heights? Because I'm not jumping any higher. I don't understand what he means by that. I'm not... Is that what I'm missing? Oh, B, huh? Okay. No, it's not letting me do like a special thing either. Oh, you press that button while you're in the air, okay. You have to, you do have to go into hover mode first. How strong is the attack, I wonder? Oh, sit on him. Well, this will make getting the, uh, the bottle even easier. I think his attack's a lot stronger, too. Like, on top? Yeah, it's killing these guys in one hit. Oh, and we could just straight- Okay, well, isn't that funny? So- I was going to use this because I had to go th between the ropes to get the potion, but you just burn the ropes, so it's like... That's kind of silly. Yeah, no, this form is like, stronger, and you can fly, and you can burn through ropes that you couldn't burn through before, you're like, what the heck? There's probably stuff under the water. I'm just gonna look quickly. There's nothing down here, is there? There's nothing down here. I gained nothing from that except losing a bunch of health. Which isn't gaining at all. That's actually losing. Fun fact. Alright, so, um, well, if we survive the flaming forest, will the forest even be on fire anymore? We killed the fire spirit. Oh, look at that! Just in the sky, free health. I didn't even know that was there. Wow, there's so much, um, screen up here. Just empty screen. It makes me wonder if there's... Okay. More stuff to be found. Oh, 
there's... Oh, look! He is strong against the wind attack, so... This is like Pokemon. Where some enemies are weak against certain attacks, and other ones are like, nope. I want an RE Engine remake of this game now. Full-blown, proper Metroidvania. We've already been down there. I believe that was the cave. So, let's see. Can this also destroy the blocks? Probably not. That would be too OP. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. So, he's going to see there's no boss here, and then we're just going to leave. He's going to be like, Oh, nothing for me here. Alright, so you said there's a way to see... Oh, the start button. Um... I can point myself in a direction. Alright, so this still doesn't... Okay, how about we go to the place that doesn't have a number on it. Maybe that will have a store. <laughs> Hello. Okay, there we go. I feel like I tried to drop in there at the start and it, maybe that what, that's what happened. It didn't work. Ah, you've arrived much earlier than I expected, Firebrand. Uh-oh, this might be where we don't have the right ability, so we're going to get the bad ending. I mean, if that does trigger the final boss, we've just ruined it, I think. I mean, I was just trying to look for the store. I have all these empty things that I can't use. It's of little consequence, for this time I shall clip your wings once and for all. I just hope... We die and leave so I don't get the bad ending. Because it's not going to save, right? If I just beat him, I'm going to get the bad ending, right? So I have to die here? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, run into me, buddy. I'll just run into these. He didn't even touch me once. It was just the spiked walls that did all the work. Alright, well that's good. And you know what? I'm going to do a safe state just in case, because I don't want to risk... Um, safe state. Uh, there we go. Sure it worked. Okay, good. Alright, so... They should have had a symbol on there, other than nothing. <laughs> It should have, like, something to indicate that that's the final place you want to go. Like, maybe a giant skull or something. Okay, um... I don't know where to... I don't know where to get upgrades, guys. I feel like I've been here... I feel like I've been to all of these spots already. This was the call... What, what is this over here? Oh, I just went to the little blue. Block. Oh, what the heck? Who are you? It has been a long time since a customer visited. Welcome, Trio Pago. Wait, we specialize in gaming for demons? What? This is a level one and is easy. The entrance fee is 5 GP. Well, I'm rich, so... I'm very good at headbutts. How did you know? Uh, yes, I shall test my skill. By the way, this game really switches things around. Um, you actually have to press the left face button to, to confirm. Which is completely different from like the two ways you usually run into, which is either the bottom face button or the right face button. Usually with Nintendo, they're the only ones who do the right face button. Uh, am I familiar with the rules? Nope. It's child's play. Destroy as many skulls as you can. Okay. Twelve skulls. Okay. Ready? Go! Oh, I forgot the button. What? He said headbutt them, right? Did he not say headbutt them? It's 
not working. Is this a scam? Is that the joke? Okay, I don't know what went wrong. It has to be pres- like... It has to be like... A bullseye, apparently. Wow, this sucks. Because it's not like... Ugh. That was horrible. Yeah, how about we never play this again since it's just for money. It's not even for anything but money. We have tons of money. Who cares? Alright, so maybe this will be a place where we can buy stuff. That was awful. I legitimately was like... Thinking like the headbutt's not working. Oh, this is just that one place. There was not a place to buy stuff here. I haven't seen you around here. Yeah, you have. We've already talked. You made my stuff vanish. I can't believe he did this to me. And you know what? This wasn't even like... This was just like another level, I think, because... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this was the place where we fought a boss. Um, wasn't this the red chunk that we went into? I mean, this looks like a town, but none of the doors are open. I don't have to headbutt the doors, do I? Oh, you have to headbutt the doors open. Of course you do. So, this whole town was had closed doors, and I pressed up to, like, open them? No, you have to headbutt the doors open. So, I was missing all of the- how many kids played this game for years and they didn't know to headbutt the doors open? Holy crap. Welcome to the wise man, a shop of spells. I have- yeah, I have almost all the spell sheets, buddy. I'm here. Okay, so... Maybe we should look into what these spells do before we buy them, even though we can get all of them pretty much at this point. Let's see. Demon's Crest. Spells. Shadow strikes closed and weak enemies. I mean close and weak enemies? Old stops nearby enemies doesn't work on bosses. Imp summons an imp. Shock causes an earthquake. Death summons death upon all enemies on screen. Works on some bosses. Ooh. So death is like an AoE. Uh, Firebrand is, yeah, he's this guy. Th they have a different name in Ghosts and Goblins, I forget what it is though. That's like a weird name. That's a good point, Rad, there is other stuff we could buy. Why don't we look around town? Because we also have a couple empty bottles. Sorry, we have three empty bottles. Because here's the thing, when I, um... Let me look over here in case I don't think there's... Yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, um... When I gained the ability to destroy these blocks, and then I saw this door, and then the door didn't open, I was like, well, what the heck? Well, that's because you had to headbutt it open. Oh, the sharp shopkeeper. I assume he's his, his own species. Look at this guy. Welcome to the Black Lotus. We carry only the finest potion. Oh, are your potions too strong for us? My potions are too strong for you, traveler. Shopkeeper, I require only your strongest potion. Mercury so These aren't potions, these are just single things. The elixir is the only one, potentially, that's like, actually a mixture.
Alright, Demon Crest. Potions! And also, can you only use them once? One of the autocompletes is why are the Demon Crest potions so expensive? <laughs> Sulfur teleports Firebrand to the world map. Herb restores 5 health points. Oh, that's Capcom for you. Mercury teleports Firebrand back to the beginning of the level. Wait a minute, so this is just like convenience items basically. The health one will definitely be good. Uh, Elixir resurrects Firebrand with 5 health points. Ginseng restores full health points. Okay. So I assume these are all one time use items. I mean, they're potions. You can't drink a potion twice. Um... The only one I'm immediately interested in with would be the health potions. Wait a minute, ginseng restores full health, but herb restores five health. Ginseng costs so much more. I think I'll get a couple herb potions. They're pretty cheap. So that's a grandma's soup. Oh, he tells you. I could potentially get an elixir down the line, but I don't want to get one yet, because I assume it will auto-use when you die, and I don't want to just die in the middle of a level and waste it. I'd rather if like I'm really having trouble with a boss, I could just come back here and get it. Maybe they give you the option to use it, I don't know. But I'm just going to get a couple of these for now. Okay. And then... I'd let the door open. You know what, I could be getting more money here too. <laughs> you just grind up money outside of the very shops in which you spend the money. I have a magic ball. I might be able to just do a four, like four of these. I want death. All the enemies around you will die. That sounds pretty good to me. What does Shock do again? The earth will quake and the enemies on the ground will be damaged. That's pretty good. Let me read all of these. Imp will appear and work for you. I like that. You must have money to keep him employed. My... He uses money? Isn't it already the fact you're using spell? Like, points should be enough. Uh, ginseng becomes more useful late game when you need way more uh, than 25. I guess that makes sense. Held in one place for a short time. That sounds like it could be useful. A barrier of darkness will surround and protect you. That also sounds useful, so... It's really just down to the imp and shock. I feel like I'm gonna do shock. The imp sounds fun. We'll get the imp if I, if I find the fifth scroll. But I don't like the fact you have to pay him to keep him employed. That's the one thing that kept me away from getting that. Although 299. I mean, we have plenty of money. But... What's been done has been done. I don't want to talk to you, sir. No! Also, is there not a way to just leave the map? You need to have the... Oh, there's another door over here, too. Whoops! I just used an ability by accident. I caused death to everything on the screen. Oh! Wait a minute, you could only use a spell once? Hmm... Did anyone assume that after getting a spell written on a piece of paper that you could only use the spell a single time? Did anyone else have that, that estimation? Like, why would you even have that on a hotkey if it's a single time use? It's not like the scroll vanished. That is awful. I just spent, I just spent the most expensive one too. 
I mean, I don't even want to buy it again. You know what? Yeah, let's wait. I, I don't want to buy it again and use it by accident again. What? This guy needs to stop talking to me every time he sees me. Um, I don't even know why death was equipped. That was the first one I bought. Huh, that's why. Yeah, let's just have none of those equipped. Oof. Gosh, what a waste. This guy. I should have talked to this guy. I didn't realize it was the third one. Oh, there's a talisman called Skull. I have that. It allows you to capture soul energy more easily. Oh, he's just a tip guy. That's a horrible tip because that doesn't help me find... Not only do I already have it, even if I didn't, that doesn't tell me anything. Like, well, I know there's a skull that exists somewhere that does this function. <laughs> Let's see, can you give me another tip? This is the talisman, okay. Oh no, he's just telling me about the talisman that I have equipped, my bad. I thought he said, there's this talisman. So you, you bring the talismans to him. Look at the town back there, all falling apart, falling over. Okay, well anyway... That's cool. Um... I guess. There's a little red spot way off in the distance, what is that? A little town? This guy? You're just here? He has everything but the one that I don't have anymore. Well, the imp. I don't know if you need to like find where to drop. It's another little red thing. Okay, yeah, so there's just different places where you can run into these guys. But they don't have all of the potions available, like the ones in the main town do. Okay, so we've been there. We've been there. Oh, I see now. That doesn't We've been there. I think the town is just repeating, or I mean the world map is just repeating a circle. Oh, here maybe? The big blue? No? Maybe here? Like an open spot in the forest? Nope. I was told there were six levels, so apparently there's two levels that I just can't find. I've gone to uh, four, yeah. Because that's just... I, like, I thought that was the dragon... Or this is four. Yeah, no, I've been here. To these towers. I mean, I could check it out again, but... I've definitely been there already. I'll, I'll just go to it. I, I don't know where to go anyways. Yeah, see this place? It, it could be that I didn't take the right exit, maybe. red boy anymore. I'm a, a bluey man. Right, we went into the tornado. So let's not go into the tornado this time. Which I don't know, I still don't even know if that was just me falling to the ground, the game thought, I don't know. Could be. 
I like to believe that I went to the tornado and that led to a secret area, though. cannot be harmed by our green shots. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Oh, geez. Anyways, we're going this way now. Yep, see, there was a boss here that we never fought. That's what it is. Now we know. So this will probably unlock the, the level 5. Okay, keep spinning. There you go. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Just keep doing that. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what you're accomplishing there, really, but you're having a good time. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. L came off. That's okay. Happens to the best of us. Oh, you went up that time. No, you don't want to go up. You want to spin in a circle, remember? Oh, jeez. Turning slightly red. Keep turning red. It means you're winning. Keep turning red. More red, more red. Yes! You won! You did it! Raining segments. What the heck is that? It's like a fancy marble <clears throat> piece of fire crest called claw. With it you can climb up walls. But I can already fly. But the claw attack is probably strong too, I'm guessing. Right, so then the five is gonna... Yep, okay, so the mounds was a place. I just hadn't unlocked it yet. Alright, I have to go take care of Walter real quick. And then I'll... Uh... I will come back and maybe we'll just be beat the game because there's only six levels we're almost at the end of it already
希望キャツの意志を引き継ぐ悪魔やつもつ心臓闇のヒーロードクロンのジョンソンエイトハートの登場イエオ7つの弾丸でも大丈夫悪魔とダンシンやり合うマイバーンベジタリアン食らうお野菜聞こうと全てはガイダンスシャウキックゼマカイヤバイゼ旅は道連れライトショップヒッツヘル闇を見つめ今宵のビッグゲーム邪魔するやつらは全員沈めろアイマヒーロー8つの心臓お前に倒せないエイトハートバックな話だぜ古文奮闘貫く正義ガルシアの文も何が待ってるかわからないそれが旅の醍醐味さ変わらない最低の旅だって構わない今だロードムービーは終わらない何が待ってるかわからないそれが旅の醍醐味さ変わらない最低の旅だって構わない地味ドロロムービーは終わらない何が待ってるかわからないそれが旅の醍醐味さ変わらない最低
All right, that's enough of that. Oh, wait a minute, there's a level five. I was about to go right to six. Might want to have hear the sound. Ah, so that was a place, but the thing didn't appear yet. I see. strong is that? Not strong enough. Wait, we can climb up these now, right? Because we're using claw? But how do I... How do I? How do I climb? Is it not wally enough for me to climb? I keep breaking, like going out of my way to break these uh, pots and there's nothing in them. about this claw ability though I don't, I don't see the uh i don't see the big whoop what am i doing these pots are empty i've already learned this oh you know what the, the thing i just gained is worth nothing like this is just way better in this situation i could go like up and down easily somewhere. Nope, it sure doesn't. Oh, you can't hang on to walls when you, you can fly, but I mean, why would you need to, I guess? They just gonna... Wow, I just got a health up. Oh! The health up, and then they, um... Four healths next to the health up, which is kind of redundant, but cool. That's cool. See how it is. Can't fall into a a uh, trap pit if you fly. out this claw thing again. You could supposedly climb up walls, but it's not. None of the buttons are actually showing that you can do that. So it must work differently than I'm thinking. Also, I just realized it says identify. I'm gonna Google this. Demon Crest Claw. Ability to climb walls. Ow. Oh. 
Um... Oh, climb spiked walls. They didn't say that, it just said walls. Or maybe that's another game. I don't know, it says the ability to climb walls, but I don't... I tried that, I tried pressing up. Watch. I'm pressing up right now, nothing. I press... What would be A, which usually d triggers a special ability, but that's just headbutt on this still. Jumping... Like... Is that what it is? Is you're jumping upwards? Maybe? Were you not able to do that before? I feel like you were. I mean, it's not letting me climb up the wall, I'll tell you that much. But even then, I don't see how climbing up the wall would even be beneficial in any way. This is a goop projectile. You fire it at spikes and it makes the surface you can cl Oh wow, yeah, that that did not explain that whatsoever. Oh. Well, this is not getting damaged at all. Let's try something else. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, maybe a weak point's about to pop up? Eyeball. His eyeball popped up for a second. I don't know what... There we go. Green does damage. Angry rocks fall down. I just move closer. Can't jump over him, so... Not, not much use of him walking back and forth. <laughs> oh, I could fly over him actually with the other ability. Now that I think about it. A weird boss. The meat golem? I mean. Certainly this. He has many teeth. They're not quite in rows. They're just kind of there. Protruding every which way. Okay. that much. I might not be using his most effective damage weapon, but I this one does do damage. That's the important part. Oh, damn it! I thought only three rocks were gonna drop. Well, they, we were doing that whole fight with no health anyway, so I don't think... It's just a little annoying <laughs> that I didn't. Oh, no! We, they sent us pretty far back. That's not cool. That's weird, every other boss fight has like a much better checkpoint than that. Is this for you? Okay, it's after this.
I guess I could have healed. I just didn't want to waste the heal, but we have tons of money, so I probably should have, should have just done that anyways. So what you're saying is I can group these spikes. That's so unnecessary, though. <laughs> Especially in a game where you can like stop and hover wherever you want. It's really weird. That's something that you should have gotten before the flight ability for sure. Oh, he's just over here now. Now we're on the other side. It's a little bizarre. Um. Well, this was what was dam damaging him before, so I'm gonna stick with that. Just have a lot more health this time. Come on. Open your eye. Oh, he just flung that guy like very forward rather than in an arc like he usually does. He usually does like those vertical throws. Open your eye, damn it. What? Usually it does that when I damage him, that's what I was weird. This is a weird boss. Out of all the bosses uh, in the game so far, this one isn't particularly, uh, I don't know. That's what almost, that's what got me last time. Like, like when he's going back and forth, there's literally just nothing, like, there's no hazards to avoid, but you can't hurt him either. I mean, I guess you could choose to fly to the other side of him, but there's no reason to do that either. It's just he's just kind of wasting your time. It only really makes sense if he's coming towards you, so you're forced to like decide if you want to, if you should fly over him. But he doesn't ever come that close. same places every time, so as long as you just hug a wall, that seems to be a safe spot. Yeah, just keep doing that, it works for me. Attack me without opening your eyes. There we go. Yeah, not the most inspired boss design and gameplay was. The design's okay. Oh, that gave us a stone? I didn't expect that. Usually you have to fight that one guy. I'm guessing what the thing is we want all the crests. Before we fight the boss, right? The the last boss thing. We can morph into T gargoyle and swim beneath water. Oh, well there we go. That explains that. I mean immediately wants me to just go back in there. So I think we're just missing one crest. No, there's two. Uh-oh. There must have been Oh, but there's three other crest. I don't know. We missed some stuff apparently. That's fine, because I, I need to check out... Oh my god, we're like a fish person. We're like the creature from the Black Lagoon. Gotta be something down here, obviously. Ouch. Big dip boxes. Ah! 
I got a secret formula with a little bit of eye and a little bit of all. I don't like the there's fish. They just look like normal fish bodies and then they have skull faces. Wait, 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 let's not go straight up there just yet. Or should I? I don't know. It's hard to tell in this game which way is going to be a uh, complete alternate path. If I see another exit, I'll go back and go up to that one, but if this has a dead end, well, either way, I'm just going to go back up to the other one. How do you, like, I don't know the strategy for, like, not over swimming. Okay. Good reward. I don't think there's a way to get through that, because your, your swim button just puts you way too high up, even if you tap it. I mean, a way to get that without taking damage, rather. Would it be cool if you got these abilities before a midway through the levels? Yeah, I honestly would have preferred that more than, like, oh, now you have to go back and find the alternate route or whatever. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not how I would have preferred it to be laid out. Maybe if it was always obvious what it was you were going to go back to, but a lot of times you don't even know what you're going to be looking for yet. You have to kind of... Okay, there is two X's here. Um... Well, you know what? This one's farther away, so if I redo the level, I could just go straight to the one up top. So let's go this way first, actually. The other way might have just been an alternate route that I skipped over. At least it's mostly just finding new path through new stuff. Yeah, I mean the length, the short length of the levels definitely makes it not as bad. How do, oh, if you hold B you could swim forward. Well, no wonder I was having trouble. Sorry, if you hold what would be A on a uh, Super Nintendo controller. Nintendo and their weird button layouts. Got him! I just hit the tip of his dome, that's all you needed. Can I get him? Can I get him? He's a little too high. Oh! It's fine, I just hit a checkpoint area. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a thing in the... T Oh, there's spikes up there, but I cannot see it because my freaking HUD is blocking it. That's not very good. Ugh! Well, he's gonna kill me instantly. You know what? It's a sea snail. I'm gonna make use of one of these potions. I have tons of money to afford more, so screw it. Use it. Oh, you have to equip it and then use it out. Well, how do I even... Oh, I see. You can only have either a spell or a potion equipped at once. There we go. I'm using it. I think I'm using it. Hello? Okay. Took a second to trigger. It's Gary from the show I've never seen. Do you think they put enough repetitions of this idea in this level chunk? Um... Potentially. This is... okay. I 
don't. Just from bananas for a second. Well, how am I supposed to avoid? Okay, whatever. I thought maybe I could hit those. So that potion went to waste, but whatever. That's fine. Now that I know, this swing forward. We should be getting there with much more health. I just, I knew that was gonna happen. No, these underwater guys don't drop stuff. Oh, that one did. They are more stingy than the average monster, though, I will say. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, I think the idea is this is part of the challenge is not losing too much health before you even get to the boss. That is just part of what they're going for, but it's... Oh, he actually dropped some health. So we have a lot more health to deal with it this time. One of the strategies to like quickly switch back to another form just long enough to do a lot of damage and then not drown. Like just quickly switch back to the uh you know what I'm saying? This just feels like so weird though. Like, I honestly don't know, like, what a good strategy would be to avoid those objects. I'm just gonna try to do as much damage to this guy as I can when I get the chance. Because I cannot swim down when he's shooting you up. Not much right now. Oh, I should have avoided it. <laughs> What is he like shooting out like blood bubbles? Hey, there we go, we got him. Remus said, what's harder, this or Elden Ring? Well, this is clearly... Uh, this, this isn't too hard. This is a pretty, uh, I think this is pretty middle of the road when it comes to difficulty. Alright, so now... Wait a minute, oh, no, 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 there was that other route in there, let's not forget that. Poop bubbles? Hmm. Well... Let's just pretend that they weren't. What did we get from that guy? He, he, he oughta gave us something, right? Did he just give us like, a, oh, he just gave us more health. That's how you know you went the wimpy route. Okay, maybe not the wimpy route, but just like an unnecessary route. I mean, it is interesting how there's different routes in each levels with different bosses that give you different rewards. But I'd rather just you fight them one one by one. Like, at least make it so, like, you can go off the path and fight a side boss and then come back to the main path, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, clearly they intend, they want you to return to levels. Like, that's part of the key. Okay, so now let's see what was up here. Oh, this just led back here. But Why? We would only have this ability if we had already come through here already one time, so that's... There's no reason for me to go up, and I can't just exit the level. So I guess I have to just make my way to the boss door so that he can be like, my work here is done, and then leave. There wasn't any more water up there, right? I don't remember there being any more water. 
Queenie Head Jr. route. The overall navigation is sick. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'm about to die because I'm not paying attention. If I die, then I'll just exit that way, honestly. Honestly, I should just do that because then I'll have full health for the next level. Wait, yeah, if I want to fight that boss, I have to go through all those Screw it, I'm just gonna... I don't want to go through all that again. It'll take too long. Have you guys checked out Elden Sting? It's an Elden Ring podcast hosted by lead singer of the police. Wow, I knew he was uh, an Elden boy, as they call them officially. All right, here's the last level, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have all all what I need. I feel like I need to. Re and you know what? I don't know which levels that I got the things that I needed already, and which ones I haven't. So that might be tricky. We're in Ice Town. You turn into fish mode, you just start dying immediately. Oh, he's invincible! For that. Good to know. Oh, that spikes, huh? Spiky rib cages, we don't want to touch those. Ow. Am I hitting that guy? Okay. Okay, you know on most games, when you walk on ice, like, you slip around on it really easily and you're sliding all over the place? This one they like, okay, I'm sliding a little bit, but like, they treat it like mud when you're first just trying to start walking. It's really weird. Look at that. Like, why wouldn't I have already had momentum dropping onto it? I get the idea of like wet ice, maybe you would have a slow start, but this feels like it's implemented strangely here. Whoops, wrong. Wait, did I actually? I'm just saying if I hit, if I'm hitting the ice quickly, like, I get when you're standing still and you start, okay, that's fine. But if I'm hitting the ice quickly, I should, like, zip. But instead it, like, slows me to a... Well, oh, that's what I'm saying. Just specifically that. Like, that is physics. That is our physics dollars at work, people. The fact that there is a person to the left makes me think they're hiding something over there. What are you guys hiding over here? Nothing. You just soccer eyed me. Can't believe this. Is this, does this take place before or after Ghosts and Goblins? Maybe the ending will shed some light on that. Firebrand weighs so much he creates a puddle wherever he lands. Duck's doing like all these mathematical gymnastics to explain the blatant flaw. The game-breaking flaw that this game has. The irredeemable. Dropping the game's score from an 8 out of 10 to a 2 out of 10. I just feel like there's gotta be some up there because there's all those people up there, but maybe... Maybe there isn't. Maybe the One Piece isn't real after all. Wow, I didn't find any side areas on this level. The green? How did that happen? Is this his weakness? Did I just figure out- or is he healing off of this? Is that indicating that he's healing? Like he's strong against whatever this is? 
I honestly can't tell. I'm, I, I think I need to try a different ability. Are they gonna make me go through that hole? Okay, I think it's the second half of the area. I get the feeling that that wasn't working. If, if boss is at health bars, then we could more clearly tell, but I, I feel like that was indicating this was an ineffective attack. So when like things turn green in games, it just makes me think of healing. Unless it's like a sickly poisonous green. It's a little different. Um, fun way to cut ice really clearly, drape a string over it, tie weights to both ends. What if you start shoehorning comments about Demon Crest ice physics in conversations like, Oh, well, we all know how that turned out. Yeah. They're just talking about, like, this new restaurant they ate at the other day. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, you know Demon's Crest ice physics. Let's try the wind. Maybe the wind will work. See if he turns a color again. Okay, he wasn't even affected by that. Let's try a regular fire. He turned green. Wow, also he just like annihilates me in t two seconds. The green flash is the damage indication for the boss, so that means it is working, okay. Alright. Well, it's weird that that's the only boss in the whole game that does that specifically, instead of, like, turning red. <laughs> Man, these guys are strong against fire and, uh, wind. I need to chill out. What would you guys do if, like, the director of Pokemon's son like, demanded that he make a special, like, little Timmy. He wants a special Tim, Tim, Timmy type that's strong against everything and, and not weak against anything. And because, just because his son Timmy wanted it, he put it, put it in, so now there's this Timmy type Pokemon. Would that be, would you guys be cool with that? <laughs> yeah, the, the Timmy type. That's not even like the name that he would have because he would be like a Japanese developer. <laughs> like probably wouldn't be called Timmy, but his son's name is Timmy. Okay. Oh, there's a wall for me to jump off of. That's actually unusual for boss fights. Damn it! I don't want to use an herb or anything until he's at least turned red. I can't believe this boss like suddenly wrapped up the difficulty. It's not that you wouldn't be able to use Timmy type. It's just wouldn't that completely ruin the whole balance and point of Pokemon? <laughs> that there's Pokemon that are strong or weak against each other. There's just the Timmy type. I would be down, but it would be banned from competitive play. That exists in Temtem. There's a digital type that has no weaknesses and a few strengths. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Shouldn't the digital Pokemon be weak against, like, magnets, at least? Or depending on how physical it is, uh, water even. I think it's something Pokemon requires more than one brain cell in the first place. I think it does. I don't know all the weaknesses. I mean, obviously I know that fire is weak against water. Uh, I wonder if I should use like my spells. Like, um, shock would keep him in place. Hold would also keep him in place, theoretically. Let's see, I'll try one more go without using anything. I mean, 
What's the point of just holding on to everything and not using it, right? I should at least... Make use of it. Or else that defeats the purpose of even buying... Why are you green forever? What the hell? He was green for like 10 years that time. Okay, well, he's definitely got me again. Jesus, man! This, I can't, because the thing is, he's so strong and I just, his, his patterns are just like, damn. There's Pokemon with no weaknesses. Well, I would figure the drawback would be that they're also not that, not that strong, though. I would hope. I can't remember if it's Psychic strong against Ghost or Ghost strong against Psychic. I just know it's one way or the other. You would think that Psychic would be strong against Ghost because, like, Ghost would be able to, like, overpower anything except a Psychic who's able to, like, perceive them better and, like, potentially fight them. But I feel like it's actually the other way around in Pokemon, isn't it? I'm sure it also depends on, like, what generation you're talking about. Alright, I'm gonna try to use, like, hold or something and see if that does anything. There we go. Wait, that's not hold. That looks like the shield, and it doesn't look like he's doing anything to this guy. I couldn't even get away fast enough to avoid his... Man! I was pretty sure I had a... Man, did I really not equip the right spell? Am I that dumb? Shadow was the one that was supposed to be the shield. Hold was supposed to... I'm so confused. Ghost is strong against Psychic. Think of it as a calm, rational person being spooked. I don't think Psychic is usually attributed to calm and rational, so I don't think that works. I think when you think of Psychic, you think of, uh... Either crazy because you don't believe them, or even if, say, it is proven that they're Psychic, they're going to probably have some mental strain due to the Psychic-ness. Usually I don't think of a Psychic person as being well kept together, they're tormented by their, their ability. I'm thinking of like the guy from the 13 ghosts who could like sense the ghosts. And it like overwhelms them. Okay, uh. Guess I'll try shock. I might have to actually like leave town and like. Okay. So I was supposed to know that he was going to jump high enough for me to go under him right there. No. <laughs> Okay, if I stay on this side... Hang on a second, hang on a second, I just had an idea. Can I spit downward from here? No, I can't. Okay. Can't do that, unfortunately. Damn, if I could only spit down from there. Ghost is weak to dark type. Bite is a dark type move. Are you, how are you gonna bite a ghost? That is kind of weird. Okay, um... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hold in place! Did he hold in place? I don't think the Earthquake's doing anything to him. Oh my god, I can't even fly. The Earthquake did nothing. I, need, I just need enough time to drop down so I can hurt him. Like, I can't because he'll just catch up to me and hurt me. Oh, he almost freaking got me! Him jumping off the wall. 
And I hope he's gonna stay in place for a second since he just landed. Okay. I'm just gonna have to, like, cheese the hell out of this. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, why didn't he... I can't stay too close to the right though because he could wall jump and that's not good for me. Yeah, I literally, this is all I could do to safely fight this guy because I don't know. Even this isn't safe, I mean look at him. Oh, he could jump off air, which I can't do. That's nice. That's cool. He's gonna just jump over. I hit him! Okay. And then just immediately go back. I like to think when he lands, he's not going to jump again for a second, but I have no idea if that's actually the case. At least I could transform into this while in the air, in normal form. Oh boy. Now he's just... Okay. I gotta do. Oh no! Yeah, I got greedy. I was like, okay, maybe I could hit him again, but like, no, he stays in principle for too long. Imagine I did this on a speed run. This is the one boss that I can't just fight normally. Dude, even doing this, it's like you don't always get an opening. Great timing for that. Okay. Someone came in at that exact moment and distracted me. So we gotta do that all over again. I didn't even realize I was gonna die in one more hit. Walter! Oh my god. One second. Okay. All right, here we go again. That, let's see, am I even gonna have time? Let's see, there's a good chance I won't. Oh, okay. To be honest, that time. This is so ridiculous. Like, look at that. Okay, look, once again, like, I didn't even... Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, he jumped over it. Sweet. I just need to get that extra hit on him because that was kind of like that he did that to me. Stop running across the whole screen. Oh my god. Wow, he almost got me. This is going to take forever, but what else would you do? Dang, if I don't- if I didn't waste that one spell, that might have helped as well. The death one. Ow, jumped over it again! Oh my god, he actually caught me. Screw it, I'm using the potion. Most guides I'm seeing say don't bother with this guy until you get the more powerful crest. Uh, well, I don't know how I would even get the other crest because this is the last level I haven't done yet. Oh my god, a second time in a row, he got me off of a wall. In fact, he's even able to do that. Come on! How oh, did he hit me? Come on! That's so stupid. To see if that does anything, I don't know if it will. I don't think it did anything. I think that's like a temporary defense or something. I can't even see like how having another crust would even... Okay, cool. Help with this, I mean he's still going to be like impossible to avoid damage. He's at least a little consistent about what he does. Come on! The fact he just jumps over it. Ridiculous. I'm gonna try that again. I don't have to be extra careful because I don't have any potions or anything now. Do I even use the potions for anything? And then the one thing I use like my stuff on, it just like basically wasted all of it. And you can't even like quickly pummel it with damage because he's like, he can, seems like he can only take one hit at a time. I know the red thing could be doing more damage, but I, I feel like... I haven't tried Claw yet. Maybe we'll try the Claw, see if that does 
but it looks like it does better damage. I mean, it did something. I don't know how I would tell if it does more or less, but... The basic fireball does do more damage? Okay, it's cool. Ugh. Harder to hit him with, though. Oh my god, a lot harder to hit him with the freaking hitbox. Oh, okay, the hitbox flew over his head twice. Like, it went through his... It, it went through his uh, body twice. That's cool. The same kind of game where if you were even near a hazard's airspace, it would damage you. They're not going to count touching his body as getting hit. Those double standards, man. Because I, I was thinking because this is like an ice area, so maybe the fire would do more damage. But it's not as safe because you can only shoot one at a time. And they apparently don't hit very well either. And then on top of that you have to decide like, is it even doing that much more damage than the green, which there's no real way for us to tell. Funny, because that same ability is useless in this area. Like for everything else. Bosses of elemental weaknesses, Mega Man saw it's very underdeveloped. Some bosses are weak against things you only oh get after beating them. Yeah, that's makes sense. How would you even use um, their weakness on them if you can't fight the bosses more than once? Oh boy. What? I think I could get this. Oh, I didn't realize I was flying. I thought I was. Thought I was. Thought I was on the ground. I'm trying to say. Oh, new game plus. Well, <laughs> freaking boss is so annoying. Like he just has to turn invincible, right? This could actually be a really fun boss fight. The way that like he's strong and he's fast, but if you sh if you're able to hit him, it knocks him away from you. But they ruin it by making him turn invincible after every hit. Like, that could legitimately- I can see, like, the makings for a really fun, challenging boss fight. Like, it would be really satisfying to, like, get the shots right so that you're hitting him away from you to avoid massive damage. It's, like, really disappointing that they, like, had that there and then they ruin it. Okay, cool. And then the health vanished instantly, so I'm not even gonna have full health. Okay, guess I got that. Okay, I still have an idea, but apparently it's not always going to work.
You know, I keep thinking, like, maybe if I drop down, he won't... I don't know, he'll, like, stay in place more. I don't know why I think that. Of course not, he'll just do one thing and then another thing instantly, and then, yeah. Wow, this guy sucks. I'll try it one more time, I guess. I didn't even plan to stream for three hours today, so... I can't beat him, I don't know. It's just the worst part is when you you see something in a game that could be really cool and then they, it just didn't they just messed up like it's like the easiest thing that they could have to make it like a really cool thing that's worse than if something's just straight up bad you know if it leaves straight up bad it's like well it's bad but if you could see where it could have been really good, then you're like, oh man, we're so close. Oh. Of course, he just gets everything. Everything for him. Every single movie has perfect exact timing. He can hit he can hit you down and then you do not have enough time to escape him hitting you a second time. He literally combos you. Like it's literally unavoidable he knocks you down and then the first thing you try to do is just get away from him and he just hit, he just shoots the projectiles at you. It's like nothing you could have done. See? He's gonna hit me again. Because he knew exactly what to do at the exact right time. He jumps over, so you can't even punish him. You can't even re retaliate. I'm surprised nobody mentioned this boss. This is one of the most anno annoying bosses I've ever fought in a game. And nothing in this the game was close to being like this until this point. You, it seemed like this would be a notorious thing. Look at that! It's like programmed to just... Nothing you could do there. This catches up to you. Didn't expect that. I'll say. And I have no idea where I'm going, where I'm at, where I should do, like, to look for what. I have no idea. So this is like where I'm going to really start to not like this because now I have to like go through levels I've been through already multiple times to try to like find something I missed and I have no idea where. Which is why I was trying to just beat him without having to come back, because I was trying to avoid that for as long as I could.
Because, I mean, that's all well and good if we had that. Okay, so here's some water here. Let's see if... I don't think we've ever found a crest on a side path, too, which is also concerning to me. Ah! We found something here. If this game had a weapon wheel, it would- it would really- I was saying that earlier, actually, double O. Okay, so there's health. That's cool. But even if I had twice as much health, it still wouldn't help with that boss. Because the problem is just... I can hardly do anything to him and he just destroys me. A map and radar. Yeah, you know what? Great ideas, Double O. If there was a map and radar for, like, things you missed in levels, that would definitely help. Go to level 6, take the upper path from the first area. Use aerial gargle to reach the entrance that's hidden in the sky. Oh, the thing I was, like, trying to do, because I kept thinking there was something in the sky somewhere. Oh, that's not the right area. Wait, is it? I think it is. <laughs> Upper path from the first area. Well, there's a freaking bottle up there. But oh, we found that. I guess I gotta just stock up on full hills and just hope that it's enough to... And I have enough patience to just slowly whittle his health down. That's always an option. I don't think we've been in here. but the doors. Do I have to take one of these specific paths? Beat the flyer rematch. Does it matter which door we go into? I'm guessing not. Probably would have been mentioned. Do I have to like spell something? Is this like a super secret? I have to spell... This looks like I could spell something with these blocks if I did it right. Maybe Cap for Capcom. Yeah, this has got to be like a super secret. Oh, you know what? The other door probably tells you what you have to spell, actually. Oh, this is going to kind of suck. Because, uh... We already know I cannot do the... Look at this. The, the headbutt precision is out of control. This is like some Kirby nonsense. Spell K. Like, these guys. Okay. Wow, 
Why does the earth project projectile sound like an agitated cat? I have no idea. So we're gonna fight the, the our rival here. The rival, yeah, he's usually the one who drops the crest, so that would make sense. I just didn't realize Oh, that's the fly. Okay, never mind. Okay. He's doing his little ballerinas. Oh, can you jump on his back safely? It kind of looks like you could. I think he's gonna beat me. <laughs> oh my god, he does three damage now. He's as bad as the the wolf. Holy crap. The wolf's worse because just avoiding anything he does is just like a roll of the dice, but yeah, I don't remember this guy being that strong before. Exactly, but um, maybe that like makes him do the spin because you land on him and he's like, get off. I guess that's a strategy. He doesn't like when you're back like that. to get up there when he's so high up. Oh, boy. Ah. oh he's not doing it anymore. Never mind. I thought that was the thought that was the strategy, but only during certain time. Damn. I'm gonna have to use the flying one because it, sometimes I just can't avoid him. this first when he comes at you the first time I feel like look at that like where I couldn't go over him at that point he would have flown up and I couldn't go below him what the heck did they want me to do there the only problem with the wind attack is that you can only shoot one at a time so you better make sure it hits Oh, but he just goes up if you fly up, so I don't know. But this is strong. Okay. The flying attack was. He was a lot weaker against that, though, so we damaged him faster. A spiked wall. I don't think we want to set these on fire. Oh yeah, we do. They die. I thought maybe they just caught on fire and then you're in trouble. Whatever other bats only come after you, uh, it's dark. I think. Just to be, yeah. They're probably vampiric in nature. Only problem is, I don't know. Hope I don't miss whatever I'm supposed to be getting here.
What? What happened? Damn it. And I can't set the things on fire as... Oh, just die. Okay, good. Oh, gee, I didn't even realize those were bats because it's inside there. Camouflage themselves. Yeah, they're... I mean, wouldn't you say? It seems like they're, they're doing... That they're, like, drinking your blood because they attach to you. No idea. Okay. Hope I didn't miss anything in the dark there that I really needed. Hey, okay, there's this guy. This is our final meeting. What? Our final meeting? You shall go no further. I will destroy you or die trying. So this guy's like the the base of the game. Basically. He's gonna help us at the end. He's like, you were right all along, I shouldn't have been working for Demon Dragon? Whoever he's working for. I mean, we killed the Demon Dragon like way right at the start, didn't we? I wonder if he'd be weaker against the uh Wind attack that seems to be pretty strong of an attack. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't mean to drop on him. Phalanx, we're already the base of the franchise. Hope it starts us off at the boss and not in the dark room. Yes. Good. I'm gonna try the wind, because that seems to be a pretty strong move in general, unless he's not weak against it. He uses wind though, so it probably won't affect him, but we'll try it. Oh no, it works! Okay, so this ought to be the best thing to use against him, I think. Yeah, he seems to be getting stunned a lot more often, so it's safe to say. This is the move to use. He doesn't even know what to do, he's, he's just panicking. Yeah, he's doing a different type of attack now, so I think that's a good sign. We're making some progress here. Get down here, you coward! Oh, this guy. Get down here! Wow! I don't think it's that he was programmed to be avoiding me like that, it's just he just happened to be in that spot at that time and it was just not... It was just bad luck for me. But it feels like... I'm just gonna fly over. Damn it! I had already... I could have flown up, but like, I panicked and I hit the wrong thing. Dang, he didn't even turn red yet. I'm starting to wonder if he is weak against the uh, wind attack. I mean, if he is strong against it, it just happens to damage him. It's hard to say because he is wind. So, so it could go either way. It could be he's weak against his own thing or... Or not. You 
You know, I could fly though. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before when I couldn't reach him. That was, that was... I'm so focused on just the uh, the dodging and hitting that I'm not thinking about my ability that I have. Damn it, I should have just ran off. Aha! See, they might just let you hurt him with the wind because it's fair, it's more fair of a fight if you can fly. But I actually think that it does less damage to him. Because for the amount of times we're hitting him, I'm really surprised that he's uh hasn't turned red yet. We wasted all of our items and potions and stuff on that stupid wolf. But this, I mean, this is a much better boss fight, obviously, you know, there's actually a back and forth. There's a clear way to avoid each thing, but it's still things you need to time correctly and, you know, be in the right places. Oh, jeez. see that coming. But now I know I could reach him when he gets too high. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Oops. Still, I can reach you. Haha. -ha. I can fly too. Haha. -ha. I can also fly, you dummy! I think it's just the fact that you have to press jump and then jump again to start floating in the air and then you start hitting a different button to actually fly upwards and it's, it's, it's not very intuitive even though I've been doing it for a while. It, it never feels right. So sometimes my I get if I'm doing like a quick response. Oh, he didn't even turn red. Okay, he just goes straight to death. You do possess incredible power, Firebrand. My power is now yours. Let me seal it within this crest. He's just gonna become the crest. We're still missing one crest though. Well, oh, the wolf probably has it, huh? And then we can fight the final boss. So whatever we get from this guy, we better. Is that the time stone? The time stone is green, isn't it? It really is the time crest. Who would have known? We can morph into L gar gargoyle. Left-handed gargoyle. Skin will become like iron and decrease damage done to you. That's what the time crest does? You do I mean... That is what would help that boss fight. That, that is true. Uh, I guess we're just going to go straight back in there. Legendary Gargoyle. That's pretty sick. Whoa, look at us. We do look pretty sick. And you know what? We, our attack will probably do good damage against the Wolf too, I'm hoping. Oh, killed that guy in one hit. I guess if something... Can only do one damage it'll still do one damage though because they don't do halves fair enough lethargic oh painting his skin that's his, his how he prepares for war his war paint it's like the rush suit in mega man the different forms you have are all kind of like, like sort of like partial rush suits because they do different things. Hopefully with this ability, 
You know what would help? If you had- if there was something in-game that would give you a hint, like... People in town who said stuff like, I wouldn't fight the wolf without so-and-so, I hear- I hear it's somewhere in the icy lands or something. Like, just little things like that, like certain other games might do. That would probably, uh... I feel like that would... help a lot, rather than just giving you nothing to work with. Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna fight him now. I'm not even gonna try to, like, do the flying cheap stuff, because I only take one hit of damage now. If that, and I'm assuming I'm doing good damage to him. Yep, wow! But here's the thing, that could have just been a fun, hard boss fight, but they had to either make it one or the other, huh? Alright. Piece of the fire crest called the demon fire. So now we have all of the crest pieces. This is the most powerful fire in the realm. The only thing we're, we're we are missing a couple of those crests, but one of them I assume is with the final boss, anyways, right? So does that mean there's just one more we need to go find? And if so, where might that be? Yeah, the final crest from the final boss, but I'm still missing one crest that isn't the final boss, so I don't know. Um, maybe the dragon place has a water area I haven't checked out yet? Because this was one of the earlier levels, I feel like. Oh no, I already came here. Damn it. Oh! Oh, I thought that the fire crest pieces were separate from the full crests we were getting. Okay. Never mind, okay. Alright, so I wish I could just get out of here, but I don't have the potion that does that, so we're just gonna have to slowly die. The fact that you have to buy a potion to exit a level is kind of... Come on now, guys. Isn't that a, isn't there a thing in Pokemon kind of like that? Like you buy a rope and that lets you like exit a cave or something? Alright, so, so then we're just going straight to the final boss, yeah? Oh, there's a super special ending? Ah, oh, okay, well... I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I'm missing everything. So we'll probably just go fight the boss. I mean, I could stop by the town first, wherever the hell that is. Like, hell, I can't remember what... Well, oh, it's over there, I think. The new fire... I haven't tried it out yet. I'll, I'll, I'll do it right now. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's up here. See how there's like the sections up here and then there's sections down here? I thought that... Oh, okay, no, I see. Yeah, okay, good. The fire's like a blue... dragon... energy dragon of some sort. This is just the guy who tells you about the... the one talisman that I have. You have one talisman. Good job, buddy. There's no reason to use it? Really? It, isn't it like the strongest... Well, the damage is probably stronger, but the ultimate gargoyle gives you better defense, right? Alright, I should just get like health, I think. Jinsen gives you a full heal, I'll get one of those. And I'll get a couple of these. I'll just get a few of these. Um, I don't want to get like a resurrect unless we really need it. Like if we're just really having trouble with the final boss, I'll come back and check that out. But uh, as for right now, I'm going to just try to use what I got. Plus we want to save money for this.
All right, wise man. In quotations. So death works on some bosses, I believe. So I'll try that. I think it's just an AOE. Shock will quake and enemies on the ground will be damaged. That's only if the guy I'm fighting is on the ground. I don't know if he's on the ground very often. Screw it. Let's get the imp just because we didn't get to check him out last time. Enemies will be held in place. That didn't work last time, but I'll just get it to see. Barrier of darkness will surround and protect you. Okay. I guess we could have got like the same one more than once, but you know, we'll have some variety to try on the boss. Dude, this guy has no uh, long-term memory, does he? Supposed to be like the fire crest and firebrand's thing, so he naturally has more power or affinity with it. Hmm. Okay, so now we just go to boss. Is it right here? No. There it is. Okay. Here I go. The heck? I don't remember the... There wasn't a level here last time. Is there a level now because we have everything? Last time we just went straight to the, the dude. Whoa, they're loading up a crossbow. Can I just... <laughs> I'm probably glad that you can just go up and hit him. You don't have to worry about it. A jester? I am the wicked jester. I'm gone. What? Really? The top of the arrow hurt me? You have to actually wait for it to go away. Those the, the Mega Man rules. You touch the, the soft side of a spike and you, you die instantly. Ooh, look at the parallax scrolling through the window. Pretty sick. Oh, that was... Oh, now it's a boss rush, huh? What if the fire could just break this? Okay. Oh, you just headbutt it. Duh. I want to try the, uh, the, 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 the... Whoops! Oh my god! Ah. Uh, see, I always want to hit the top face button to headbutt. It just feels natural, but it's it's the right face button to headbutt. So I, oi. So I ruined it, basically. I wasted it. Oh, wasted. Looks like a griffin. Okay, but come down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. I'll keep If this does major damage, then this guy has a lot of health, but maybe it doesn't do major damage. Okay, he's red now. Oh, I actually heard him while he was charging at me. Surprised that worked. I legit tried to hit the top face button again. First thing. Full heal. Yeah, this is totally going to be like a boss rush situation. I'm a spooky ghost. Kills these guys and... Alright, you know what? We need to fly here. That's what we need to do. I, I was trying to cheap out and just outrun everything, but... Ring the bell. 
You can ring my bell, ring my bell. I bet you can headbutt it. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet we're going to headbutt that? It's your boy. He rung the bell. Nothing can stop him. Demon Fire does three. Legendary does five. What the hell? You know what you should be able to do is have the top, anything in the top row or bottom row equipped simultaneously. That's the major flaw of this game. Oh, good thing I waited. Cause I was like wondering, is this gonna do anything? Sweet. Dude, look at the dark sky back there. I need my fly again. I need my fly boy again. Oh, there actually is like half damage. Look at that. The game proved it me wrong. Dude, the sounds happening in the background are so ominous. Right, so there's area down here, and then there's an area above, and I don't know which way... Oh, it's nothing! That looked like stairs, I guess it's just a rooftop. Another bell. This one's gonna be an enemy this time. That's how it works, man. They tempt you with the, the, the wonderful prizes, and then... Yeah, his swoop is his signature. Good point. What's up with that? Oh, help. You can take some health. Take some health. I don't really care. I'm just gonna keep... Keep on keeping on. Sarcophagus. Oh! He was bleeding. And then this dude came out. That's really unchill, bleeding from the face. Do you think Miyamoto liked this game? Or was he like, this is blasphemy? Demon Crest will never be in Smash Brothers. But Miyamoto, you don't even do Smash Brothers. I can do whatever I want. I am Nintendo. Oh yeah, Iron Maidens, right. Even worse. Which, in a way, Iron Maidens kind of are just spiky sarcophaguses. If you really think about it, extra hard. The Candle Room. Oh, this guy. Well, you know what? Unless he's like extra OP at the moment, which... Could be. I don't want to roll that up. Stop being invincible for one second. That's just cheating. That's just cheating and you know it's cheating. Nope, he still had about the same amount of health. Look like faces in the wall. That's kind of unchill. I wonder if you can, uh. No. Whoop! Not only can you not, that'll happen to you if you do. Nimoto wanted the wolf character to join Mario and Paper Mario, but no Goombario. And you gotta have Goombario. Oh, there he is. Is he not gonna give me a speech? Oh, you blocked me off. Whatever shall I do? It's not like I wanted to fight you, dummy. Look at this big flying dummy. Look at this big dummy head. Big flying dummy.
Wow, he's already turning red. There's gotta be another form here. There's no way that's it. He's gonna absorb all the, the powers of the infinity gems. I thought you might have the power to, f to defeat General Arma, but you do not have nearly enough to defeat me, the great Phalanx, named after the Super Nintendo game with the infamous cover of a hillbilly playing a banjo on the front cover, even though it's just a space shooter game. Look it up, it's real. Anyway. The crest, the crest of heaven. <laughs> Look at Firebrand, he's just, the Okay, he's just looking at him. Is that the moon? Or is that just a big white circle? Enveloping all. There is a single spaceship behind the hillbilly, but clearly we know what they were. the selling point was. Now feel the wrath of heaven. Oh, okay, you can swim slightly faster now. That was kind of... I mean, I could be trying to avoid damage better, but... So, basically he can... Yeah, he fills the place up with water. That's the, uh... That's what his heaven power gave him. He should have just had the water one. Water is kind of the opposite of heaven when you think of heaven as sky. Yeah. Which that is what a lot of people are referring to when they say the heavens, you know? That's what they mean. They mean the sky. How could they not? Where else is heaven going to be? To the left? To the right? I don't think so, mate. I should be flying- I should be using all my abilities right now, but I'm just like... I'm ultimate! What more do, do I need? A black hole? Oh! I was wondering if I was gonna use a help there. Yeah, obviously you're supposed to like mix between like the swimming and the flying and stuff. My power is fading, but you shall not have the satisfaction of killing me. Uh-oh. Is he gonna commit Sudoku? Firebrand's still like, okay. I'm here too. Oh, that wasn't there before. Okay. We did it. We defeated the evil church. And now that the evil church is falling into the ground, we are free to take over both the demon and the human realm. <laughs> he thought he was going to run into the spikes. Wait, sorry, what is the... It was, what am I talking about? There wasn't a giant church there, it was just like a little, like... Rectangular white, like, building area, wasn't it? Facing certain death at the hands of Firebrand... Well, it was a flat, wasn't it? Phalanx sealed himself into the crest of heaven. Go on. So did the other guy. Forever. Yeah, interesting plot choice. Avenged Firebrand hid all of the crest. You just hide them? Now that you have them all? Maybe one day someone will find the crests. He went through all that trouble getting them just to just to hide them again and prove themselves worthy. It's funny how these crests never show up in Ghosts and Goblins. 
to meet him in battle. That would have been a good opportunity for the new Ghosts and Goblins to, in to reintroduce the crests. Like, that's what you have to collect to get the true ending. And on that day, victory shall once again be his italicized exclamation point. Someone's tooth fell out. Oh no, they need that for the tooth fairy. It was falling into the icy mountains. There's nothing more I love than going out of my way to collect all the items in a game just for the character to then get rid of all the items that I spent all that time collecting. I thought it was going to show him dropping each one into the different places, but <laughs> there he is. He's inside of the guitar pick. It's the pick of destiny. The original version. It's the pick of destiny. The end. We did it. We beat Demon Crest. Wow, we actually have six people watching right now, eight likes. I'm surprised that this many people showed up. We need to do more retro games again, like I always used to. And then you guys started influencing me with your modern titles. With these post-2000 games. Yeah, like Zod and the Phantom Zone. Exactly. What is this, Firebrand's home? It's the big dra- oh, it's New Game Plus, right? So- So Mulo. Oh no, they're- It's- they're doing a Mario world here, we're seeing all the names of everything. Bird brain. Oh, it's a hippogriff. I've heard of those. Let's guess the names before they show them. That's a uh, slime bow. Slime bow. Oh, of Nunu. Should have known. That's um uh slice slicer point. Belf. Okay. Oh, this is um uh, uh tears from heaven. That sounds like a stand. <laughs> Blame Lord. Well, that one actually makes sense. Pico says, Kevin! Richard! This is a, a scrimple. Skula. That's the closest one I've gotten so far. I said scrimple. That's like three of the letters are right. You already said this one's flyer, right? I would have called him... Um, uh, twirly... McGorley. Oh, Eyes of Heaven is a JoJo game? The Tears from Heaven is an Eric Clapton song. This is, um... Uh, Snail... Oh. Holothrian. This is, a uh, Cheese Pizza... Left in the oven too long. Crawler. Okay. That's... This is Wolfo. Grey one. Oh, uh, um, I know his name. Uh, Arma? It's Arma, right? We, were, we actually were told his name. Glorb? That's a good name for the mutant pile of melt. Phalanx, this is the, uh, this is the true form of the hillbilly on the, on the front of the Phalanx game cover. I am Phalanx. No one could stop me. I'm pretty tough. Who did I have to use a single item? What the heck, why'd they do a green one at the end? The time rest. Presented by Capcom. Is this going to be the screen they stick you with at the end? I thought you said there was a new game plus though, right? 
How do you new game plus if you can't? Does it just save your progress? Was it one of those Super Nintendo games that actually had a battery in it? And it, it could save? Those were very rare. Super Mario RPG is one of the... Uh... Did they give me a password already? Because I did not see one. None of the, none of the buttons are uh, doing anything. I think the guides were fibbing. They were doing a Fibonacci sequence, if you catch my drift. Well, okay, I guess that's it. I mean, it's not like we were going to do new, new Game Plus anyway. We got the good ending. We didn't get the super ending, but, you know, at least we didn't get the bad ending. That's the important part. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up now. I'm glad we were able to beat the game. That wolf part is really rough unless you know you need to get that power up, but everything else was pretty fun. I enjoyed this game. Very different from Ghosts and Goblins, but it's its own thing. It's, it was cool. All right, everyone. You have a good rest of your Tuesday night. Catch you next time.